Um, obviously the first episode, fantastic. I loved it. I don't want to spoil too much. Um, for the next season, obviously in season five, Yo-Yo jo jo lost her hands. Are we going to see any new prosthetics for you this season that we can talk about? I can't say anything, but okay. um, Fitz, I'll just say Fitz is in space and he's the one that does all of that, so we'll have to wait till he comes back. If he comes back. Yeah, yeah, if he comes back, so it's all those things. Yeah. Yeah. That answers it. Fitz is in space. Yeah. Okay. Although we do have a new science guy and, yeah, I'll and we'll see what wonderful. happens along the way. And there's also a new fella in Yo-Yo's life yes. that we can't really talk about, but talk about. Well, we can talk about Lucas, the actor that yes, did. Yes, Brian uh, loved him on Haven. Oh, he's amazing. Yeah. Wonderful human being, too. So I was really happy to get a new storyline, a new challenge. Not saying that I Henry will kill me if I say I was happy to get another guy. But, <laughs> but just a new storyline in that whatever that storyline was, was centered around a great actor and also a great human being. Lucas is just wonderful, so it was really exciting. Yeah, yeah I was really happy to see him on screen. Also. Right? He's really good, too. Yeah. So charismatic. Exactly. And, you know, we'll see what happens there. So is Elena more comfortable with her arms now since a year has gone by? And Elena is. I am not. But she is. <laughs> no. She, I, think that's, I think a lot of this season will be part of... Uh, part of her arc is her arms, her getting more comfortable and more uh, confident in them. And then that transition, then becoming a, a shield agent, because you see in this first episode with the logo, she's now an agent. And then the whole relationship with Mac, I think those three things are probably the strongest uh, points uh, for her character this season, for sure. Are you so sad? I can see it in your face. I, <laughs> I mean, I, I noticed because usually you and, and Henry are yeah. together, and now... He's and now you're stuck with me. Yeah, uh, he's so. my new boyfriend after <laughs> Lucas. It's yeah. him. Exactly. So Jeff, I know um, in the panel you were very moaned on a lot of things. Uh, you were telling people shocking me. Yeah. That way. <laughs> you were saying to people that um, to watch Endgame to find out what would happen in the season because um, we obviously jump a year ahead. Right. Is there anything that you can tell us? that would get me in trouble with the Walt Disney no. Company and the, and the movie studio? No. No, no I can't you tell you any of those trouble. things. I didn't think you had a box. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there's, you know, there's a movie that's going to crush yeah, true, everything true, 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 true. for everybody. Uh, Regarding the decision to actually stream the first episode, why did we do that? Yeah, I mean, because I didn't know you guys were going to do that. It was kind of like well, I look, uh, WonderCon has always been very good to us, and and we couldn't think of a better way to get out. I mean, if you remember, we've not been on the air for a year, uh, and while while a lot of shows share that, and that was certainly our experience a lot when we were doing the Netflix shows. Um, and, and you certainly do find that the audience will come. Um, I think ABC wisely looked at the situation and said, what's the best way for us to be able to let the world know that we're coming back on May 10th? Uh, and so why not start here, you know, whatever we are, six weeks out, uh, and start banging that drum and, and let people know that, you know, we're coming and, and that the season's amazing. Well, That's your the first cool episode is any indication. I'm beyond excited. Oh, I was nice. already excited to see if maybe possibly an extra extended clip was going to be happening in the panel, but when they said it was the first episode, yeah. it's good, right? Yeah. There you go. It's great. Jeff, did you have anything to do with uh, Jeff Ward having such a minimal role in the first episode? Uh, if I can keep Jeff out of the show, <laughs> I will. Every time. That's not true. Look, I, the reason why he and I uh, have so much fun together is because he has my name and he spells it wrong. And until he gets that right, it's just going to be war. <laughs> it's, it's really just, I am just coyote to his road runners. That's all it is. So I'm continually falling off cliffs and having rocks and cameras. Yeah, yeah, my head. And, uh, yeah, but you know what? Do we need another Jeff? <laughs> I know, we, we have, have so job? many Jeffs. No, it, it's, he's a great sport, and uh, yeah, I think after today it's probably over. But, you know, I tried to push it as far as I could, and I think I did. Uh, so, and, listen, he, he's not only, as it turns out, and I didn't know this at the time, when we hired him, he's really good friends with my godson. And so... Like all of a sudden, like my 
best friend, who's father to my godson, called me and went, you hired Jeff. And I was like, yeah, how do you know that? And he goes, because he's over here. And I'm like, what do you mean he's over at your house? And he's like, no, he's really good friends with Simon. And I'm like, okay, I'm completely confused. Like, uh, so it's it's just when weird stuff happens it's like that. It's all part of his plan. It's all connected. It is all connected.